Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. This week we have a very special Most Wanted to bring to all of our viewers in Queen Anne's County and surrounding jurisdictions. This week though, we want to profile our top 10 deadbeat dads just in time for Father's Day. Special thanks to all those fathers out there that are very responsible and make sure that their children are taken care of. These 10 top deadbeat dads need to be arrested. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Lawton Carroll Hughes III. He's a white male, 34 years of age, is about 5 feet 7 inches tall and weighs about 231 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. His last known address that we have is 57 Fern Circle in Camden, Wyoming, Delaware. If you've seen Lawton Carol Hughes III, contact our office or local authorities as soon as possible. The next person wanted on a civil non-support warrant is Douglas Ray Jarman. This is a 2010 arrest warrant. He's an African-American male, approximately five foot seven inches tall and weighs about 160 pounds. He's about 48 years old. The last known address is 160 Willowdale Drive, apartment 202 in Frederick, Maryland. Joseph Jamie Melvin, a 49 year old white male, five foot eight inches tall, about 178 pounds, brown hair and hazel eyes. He lived and worked in the Nine Town Road, Ridgely area, works as a family farm laborer, may also be on Bee Tree Road in Henderson, Maryland. If you've seen Joseph Jamie Melvin, contact Caroline County or contact our office. Glenn Martin Morgan, six foot tall, about 175 pounds, 48 year old white male, brown hair and brown eyes. Last known address, 219 Pontiac Avenue in Brooklyn, Maryland. He used to live on Walnut Grove Farm Lane here in Centerville. Sheldon Terrell Neves. He failed to appear on March 3rd, 2011. He's an African-American male, 41 years of age, six foot, 200 pounds. His last known address was on Lynchburg Street in Chestertown, Maryland. A tipster gave us some information and said that he may be living under an alias. If you've seen Sheldon Terrell Neves, please contact Kent County or our office as soon as possible. Joseph Taylor, a 51-year-old white male, lives in Pasadena, Maryland. He's six foot tall, 245 pounds, has brown hair and hazel eyes. If you've seen Joseph T. Taylor, contact our office as soon as possible. Angel Torres, this guy's been profiled on our Most Wanted show before, and we really need your help getting this guy caught. Again, this is for a non-support warrant that we have. He's a white male of Hispanic descent. He's 58 years old, five foot tall, and weighs about 150 pounds. He's wanted on a non-support warrant of a destitute adult child. Last known address was Beaverton, Oregon. If you've seen Angel Torres or know of his whereabouts, please contact our office. Remember, your tip on this guy can remain anonymous. Joshua William Turner. This warrant was just issued to our office on May the 14th of 2012. He's a white male, 25 years old, is 5'7", 135 pounds, brown hair and brown eyes. He lives on Main Street in the town of Queen Anne. Prior addresses are Mariner's Way in Stevensville, Maryland. If you've seen Joshua William Turner, contact our office as soon as possible. Thomas Wilhelm, 30 year old white male with brown hair and blue eyes. He's five foot six inches tall and weighs 180 pounds. He was located in the Hampstead, Maryland area. However, recent information says that he may have moved to Ohio. If you've seen Thomas Wilhelm, please contact our office as soon as possible. Eric Jansen Wilson. Mr. Wilson is a 40 year old male. He's five foot 11 inches tall and weighs 210 pounds. He has brown hair and hazel eyes. Last known address was Jack Slane near Federalsburg, Maryland. He may have relocated to the Harrington, Delaware area. If you've seen Eric Jansen Wilson, contact our office or Delaware authorities as soon as possible. 
I wanted to take this time to again thank all of our viewers on Queen Anne's County's TV watching the Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted show. Special thanks to the crew at QAC TV and the Queen Anne's County Commissioners. Hopefully this weekend I'll see you at one of the car shows or see you at one of the many community events that are occurring. And remember, a special thanks to all the fathers out there that are doing the right thing and being responsible and taking care of their children. However, the last 10 deadbeat dads we profiled, we hope to have closures on next time we air Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.